but we all know that Blizzard's a bit uh, sus when it comes to batting players on Linux. Look at you trying to be all hip on the kids. <laughs> sus! <laughs> And welcome back to another Linux Gamecast Weekly, the show that covers the latest Linux gaming news, reviews, how tos and most importantly, whatever the hell else we come up with. Gentlemen, how are you doing? I'm Vince Stone, here at LGC Actual, switching the bits, doing the Nightmare Fuel, all under Linux, and that... That is two 15-year-olds uh, fused together, uh, a.k.a. Fusion! Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they love me love them. And uh, one slightly uh, off-tinted fighting his camera, Pedro Mateus. We, we, Pedro spent a lot of time doing color correction. Uh, during the I blame the dark blue short. Uh, <laughs> short. I, sure. You have shorts, I, I, you I, monster. <laughs> I blame Nicholas Page. Oh. The dark blue shorts. There you go. <laughs> and together with you, Shadrum Dynamic, helping us form Cocaine Voltrons. That's the thing I forgot. Damn it. Uh, Damn it. We, yeah. What's new with everyone, man? Uh, I got to get right to it. Uh, we were talking in the pre pre super shows and like, legit, I'm like, Jordan, you know, get better than I do. Look at this. Mm-hmm. And I, I felt a little better because Jordan's like, yeah, that's going to be some fun work son I'm like yeah you know what i might try to do that the other way but hey man what's the thing with this i just gotta get good gotta do that also get extras learn about that do you use get extras uh that has like the stash stuff in there too yeah, yeah? it's got like that easy yeah. easy stuff to pull yeah uh, like, oh, or uh, or the um there, there's there's the one that will like auto auto rebase stuff after you do a merge request which is super handy because like i get stuck in merge hell quite a bit oh that yeah but do you know what's even better than um being very proficient look at being very tired that's better how's that better (laughs) ray tracing rtx technology (laughs) helping people enjoy the games the way they were meant to be played thank you uh also to uh you know bring up the fact that ven has a very relevant poster for this evening (laughs) fuck you nvidia (laughs) Yeah. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> RTX allows you to play today's latest games at a, like, a, slow, at, at a slow enough frame rate to really appreciate the dynamic lighting, Pedro. How can you be against it? <laughs> the one, Why are you, uh, are RTX you against game Ray? On Linux, yes. <laughs> Why are you against Ray Romano? Everybody loves Raymond. Damn maybe, it. <laughs> maybe everyone didn't. Uh, if you're out of the loop and you don't get the joke, uh, but yeah, and NVIDIA did a dumb, well, uh, their marketing guy did a dumb and like what was that hardware mm-hmm. unboxed or unboxed uh, hard, yeah hardware, hardware unboxed, unboxed yeah. Uh, yeah. australian steve he, yeah <laughs> yeah that dude like rolled out he's like yo you better start reviewing more about our ray tracing technology because we told you you're to. not getting founders cards anymore if yeah. you don't do it so, and he went to twitter it's like nvidia just said this Everyone collectively went, wait, what? Yeah, Can right. you say Streisand effect? <laughs> Oops. Yeah. Oops. Oh, man. What's new with you, Jordan? Uh, you uh, had a crunchy time, didn't you? Oh, I am I am very, very tired. I had I had some fun 14-hour workday followed by another, like, four hours of just aftermath. And then I have post-mortem meetings next week. Dude. I'm so tired, you guys. <laughs> I want to go to sleep. That was, uh, you, you were hammering on that Thursday I asked you earlier. I'm like, when'd you get done? Yes. The next day. One of those. Yeah. Yep. That's brutal. Yep, yep. Hopefully there will be a Thursday stream next week. If not, you know where I am. <laughs> <laughs> Pedro Mateus. Yeah, no, uh, my week wasn't as busy as Jordan's Thursday, but I was actually busy all week because, I don't know, I think the NHS thought it was a good idea to hire a bunch of people, and we actually did the math, and over the past two weeks, we sent out over 30 laptops that had to be set up from scratch, and we had to fight an uphill battle to get them even imaged because the network architect is a massive bellend. So, uh, yeah, that 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 wasn't fun. <laughs> so, what's that architect's first and last name, preferably? Uh, 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 <laughs> uh, and, 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 what, what, what department do you work for again? Right. Can, 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 can uh, we play 20 questions to narrow this narrow down this, a little yeah. bit? Yeah. <laughs> no reason. No, no. No, 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 no. We, we don't, we don't want to dox anyone. Worry about it. Yeah. <laughs> GDPR is kind of a thing <laughs> for now until Brexit kicks in anyway, so. Uh, there. Okay, that's the pager, like, send him 20 quid. Okay. Fine, fine. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> ah, fuck. I don't, 
Oh, oh you unplugged. <laughs> I did. You can't escape the horse that easy. I can't escape the horse. I am crunched underneath it. It's the steam. Let it Update. Boom. Check it out. We got a gang of fixes, man. They didn't stomp this week with the steam client betas, man. We got one on the 10th. We got one on the 9th. We got one on the 7th. Man, Jesus man. Christ. All it's the way beta back. week. <laughs> man, yeah. on a cracker. Check it out. A couple things, man. Uh, one thing I noticed, I posted it on the Twitters, was uh, that property window. That got a new look, didn't it? I hate it. Yeah. I, I, <laughs> I hate it because I, but like, like anything, it's, it's like a YouTube update, right? I hate it now. I'm not going to give a shit in like two months when I get used to it. But now I can't click to where I usually click. And that, oh, that irritates me. One of me. those? <laughs> yeah. yeah, the tabs are on the left instead of on the top now. So... <laughs> So all, all that muscle memory is just completely useless. <laughs> I'm trying to get to my Twitter account. I was like, I posted a picture of this. I want to show the people watching live at home. There it is. Hang on. It, look, it looks it looks very pretty, I guess. Um, it matches the theme, the, the new theme. Yeah. I. <laughs> but, you know, immediately after I saw that, I went to like uh, Steam and I went to the properties and I was like, oh, that's the old stuff. That's there. Um, <laughs> now, the one of the ninth improved the processing of incremental Vulcan shader database updates, which answered my question of, I want to start, um, I think it was Assassin's Creed, and it just sat there for like 30 minutes. No notification, no nothing, not processing anything. Like, are you going to fetish? I finally did, and it started. But Pedro, um, did you see the experimental proton? That's now that I did. Uh, and I actually tried, well, uh, I fired up dark souls two yesterday. That was a mistake mm -hmm. because I wanted to see if the new experimental bits had done anything to improve on the, uh, the lack of, um, windows media based, uh, cutscene support. Uh, it still doesn't work. So, but I did give it a try. And two hours later, uh, I managed to wrestle myself away from dark souls two. <laughs> But yeah, the the one thing I noticed with the ninth update is they have uh, disabled shader compilations on NVIDIA while driver issues are being looked into. It's like, oh, thank you for that. And it, having starting basically any Proton game or any native Vulcan game delayed by like five minutes while it processes all the shaders. Really? Was it's that just right? bringing Linux to parity with Windows, right? They need to wait for their games to start up. Why don't, why don't Linux users? <laughs> and uh, the other thing is uh, gyro calibration for the dual sense. You can actually do the gyro aim now that you use the right analog stick as like the full 360 to turn your character around. And then you just use the gyro for the precise aiming bits, which uh, a lot of people seem to enjoy. So that should... Yeah work properly they, now <laughs> they do that on the switch for like uh doom and whatnot uh oh, it actually yep. like it actually works sense, yeah. it, it works pretty well like again it's it's like steam controller-esque like level of you're still a little inaccurate but it's leaps and bounds better than like just having to manually adjust now for one thing i noticed in that new screen uh for the game properties was when you go to set your launch launch options this mm -hmm. is just one big chunky bar with a big chunky X at the end that I ended up wiping like three different <laughs> launch options from different games because I'm so used to like, oh, that's got to be like confirm. Nope. One sec. Get rid of that. Um, but outside of that, you know, everything <laughs> seems to be running fine, but we don't get any cashy, which I listen, man, you need that cashy goodness. And uh, the cashy, the caches you already have, they're clearly not getting rid of them on accounts of the 1950 megabytes that I have <laughs> of just Vulcan shader pre cache going on. Too. All Dark Souls. <laughs> well, it's all three Dark, Dark Souls. Souls. Yeah. Uh, and. Uh, <laughs> But yeah, no, they're not getting rid of everything you've already cached. That's still there. It's just you're not caching anything else anymore. Okay. You're processing the shaders on the fly. Well, that is that. Um, let's get into the Steam Lab experiments. Zero it's one, alive! Zero, I know, right? It's alive! Yeah, uh, so you might notice that the Steam store is horrifically bloated with content, and it's impossible to find shit. So <laughs> Valve is continuing to uh, try and improve searchability. So now um, when you're looking at the genre list, it'll break it down. So if you're trying to find like your hipster pixel souls-like walking simulators, you'll have the buttons to select that. Um, they also added uh, some 
other search parameters like uh, genre, themes, and player modes, which is super useful for looking for party games, also for filtering out uh, mul multiplayer games that don't actually have network multiplayer. I really wish that they implement that ASAP so I can see, oh, I'm just not going to buy these games because I can't play them with people online. Um, but yeah, they, they're, they're continuing to improve searchability, which I think is kind of the chief complaint now from like most of the Valve user base. Um, just uh, cust customers and uh, developers aside, getting people connected with the games that they want to play. So, mm. yeah. And uh, it doesn't really seem to change because I opted in. They're like, oh, if you'd be so kind, just opt in and then let us know what you think. So I opted in and it does change your, um, like the nav bar at the top of the store page. It changes to the new one. And I went over to categories that I looked, oh, genres, there's all of them and the themes and the... Um, sociability of the uh, the games it's like okay so is there a different linux tab no it's you just click steam os plus linux and then filter by newest release and then tick the box to show only the game so it didn't really change my experience all that much <laughs> i gotta be honest, i didn't even mess with it because maybe maybe i'm the person who should because i've never once had steam say here's a game you didn't know of that you want to play i mean, we're, we're a weird we're a weird use case though because we do a podcast about that i'm pretty sure for lay people this is a perfectly fine feature but like yeah, oh yeah, we're, yeah. <laughs> uh, possibly hey uh i heard a new game came out this week yeah it makes your it makes your dick fly through your pants uh, so yes dick <laughs> yeah. 2077 or, you, or your boobs huh? yeah, or, or, <laughs> or, or your breasticles okay yeah. proton 513.4 addresses your ability to have your peni um flying uh, as you will cyberpunk Let 2077 those fly a <laughs> little bit of a catch allegedly requires an amd gpu and the latest mesa get but um if you're not on Team Red, apparently there's a way to play it with the NVIDIAs, huh? Yeah, as long as, apparently, um, uh, because I, I saw Wimpy the day of release, he's like, yeah, we're streaming Cyberpunk 7, uh, 2077. And he did uh, with the NVIDIA driver 455.45.01, as long as you have that or the uh, 456 uh, Vulcan beta driver, it should work. So, yeah, <laughs> yeah, your mileage I, I, may I mean, vary, though. I, I, th I think that note is just like we certified on it. Like we were we, yeah, we that's what we this, tested uh, on. <laughs> this is what we tested on. They, they also they, they were saying in the uh, in the uh, Twitter thread that is in the show notes, uh, along with all these other links um, that they needed to do a lot of work on uh, Mesa and Rad V to get this working. So it's good to see that the I don't, I don't I don't know they, they got a pre-release build of cyberpunk 2077 and I guess this is what we can this is what AAA Linux support looks like now is you give a copy of the game to valve for them to get it working yeah uh, yeah yeah <laughs> it's who? the cheapest way to port your game well again at CD project red would you rather this or virtual program yeah no, uh, no I, I, give it to valve give it to valve it's fine I, I, just give I, it to I, valve. I mean you, you you like to bring up this analogy it's like the 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 better kind of cancer, right? Like, yeah, it's a good type of cancer, but it's still cancer. Um, it's better than nothing. And I think that was a pleasant surprise for everyone. I'm like, oh, wait, what? No. Uh huh. It and works. Like yeah. hours after. Well, it works about as well as it does on Windows, which apparently is not very well because yeah, the I'm game not, is I'm not going to be able to. Shit. Someone, someone just send me a 3070 so I can verify that real quick. <laughs> uh, but we do have a gang of new games we gotta cut through real quick yeah we, we do. do and the first one uh big kudos to the developer jim from jim makes games who actually sent us some keys the jim the jim the jim yes uh and um it's a turn-based tactical rpg type of situation oh yay and yeah you have it, it's very much along the lines of your um your Baldur's gates and your icewind dales uh and yeah you you are the guild master and you have to manage your guild go out on adventures and do everything that you would in a tactical rpg and uh in my email chain with uh with jim he did say that uh I'm doing like all the marketing for this game on I, my own. I gotta get that animation. It looks like he just he just pooted. 
Yep. <laughs> I'm, I mean, I shit myself when it, I get hit by an axe, so it's, it it's looks legit. very much Sorry, Jack, uh, and uh, like a one man job. And if he's handling the marketing and everything, that would certainly explain the only four user reviews currently on there. But mad respect because that that's yeah. usually one of the first things a lot of indie developers budget for is marketing because you're good at the programming and you're setting making a game yourself let someone else handle the marketing for you that's so I'm, yeah <laughs> so i'm getting like less uh less baldur's gate uh icewind dale vibes and more like ultima uh linux never brought that up yeah i'm, I'm getting some like big ultima like four, oh five, yeah six. visually it's ultima four Ish. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. But people still but, play the fuck out of that stuff, right? Oh, I, I, absolutely. Yep. So it, it, it's good to see passion projects like this. Uh, thanks, James. Uh, Jim. For sending us keys. Or Jim's. Jim, how dare Jim. you? <laughs> Jim. Ma- ma- from ma- maybe Jim it, makes games. Ma- maybe, maybe, it, maybe it is Jim. I don't know. Like the, 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 there, there are people Quinn, named for all we know. There, 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 there are people named Bob and not Robert, and then there are some people named Bobbert. <laughs> oh man. Uh <laughs> Physics platforming, man. Can't get enough of that. Yeah. Well, I mean, with a, with a name like Crumble, I was expecting Pi, and I'm a little disappointed. Oh. This is this is Crumble. <laughs> um, yeah, it's uh, it's uh, it's kind of like a rummer, runner, rummer, runner rummer. platform. Yeah. It's a alcoholic <laughs> platforming. We Indeed, it's, 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 it's a it's a it's a running platformer. You got a bunch of uh, mobility options. You can swing. You can run. You can dash. You can fly, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, I mean. I, I, I don't know. Like there, there are certainly people who like this game, these types of games, and it looks kind of interesting. I get a little bit of a Fall Guys vibe from the the backgrounds a little bit. Um, I don't know. It looks like the fifteen dollar price tag is a bit steep, but again, we we've seen crappy looking games that are like well worth the money that you they charge. So I'm yeah. I'm not one to judge a book by its cover, but it's it's there if you want it. It's fifteen bucks, and, and it looks a lot like a cluster truck without the trucks. That, yeah, that it, it, was it's, the it's first that style vibe that I got it. Yeah, <laughs> it's like, oh, it's cluster truck, but you're a teeny tiny little ball instead of the first person perspective type. You're like thing. a little teeny tiny ball, and you're rolling around like, oh, okay, ba- oh dear lord, that's his tongue. Um, it's it's, <laughs> yes. it's flubber simulator. Yeah, oh, man, I mean, tongue your way to victory, I guess. All right, let me let me seduce you. <laughs> I, I mean that 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 crosses the line between seducing and like horrifying like nope nope this is some geiger stuff nope look uh, no, no. someone D- on the depends internet on, is fapping depends to on that, who you so ask. it's fine yeah D- depends <laughs> depends on who you ask of course uh, there's always that one guy who's like keep going <laughs> exactly <laughs> it's a it's a regular death carnival it is right man uh what do you think about this i mean are we uh like shut out on arcade top down stuff i don't know i've that one I looks don't, good, though. It does, I, doesn't I'm, it? I'm, personally, I'm not a fan of the genre, but it, I mean, yeah, it, it looks it looks very good. It has online multiplayer. Yes. That's the big thing. So yeah, Death Carnival. Uh, it's coming spoon TM. We don't have a price. Um, we do know that it takes place in the grim dark future where you got to shoot a bunch of stuff, but you can shoot with friends. They can have you co-op imagine and living in a future mode. full of tasteless synth food? Right. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Hold on, my Uber Eats just showed up. Uh, <laughs> I don't, online PvP, we got co-op, split screen. I'm, I'm I'm down with this because but I saw this. I'm getting like uh, assault android cactus vibes from it. Yeah. But one thing that assault android cactus was missing. Multiplayer mix online. Yeah. You, you, Proper you, multiplayer. You know, you, know, yeah. you know what else was missing? Mixer integration. Mix, yeah, they they put they put that on the notes that has mixer mix play integration, and I think that might be a little too late, Brad. Yeah, L- little little uh, times. Facebook's already gobbled that. Sorry. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, but like th- that shows when this project was started. They're like, yeah, let's integrate it with mixer. This seems like a good idea, right? Well, I, I mean, it, with, with like carbon dating, that could have been like seven years ago too, though, man. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's true. Um, demons of Aistborg. Asteborg. This one, this one's cool. Um, so we, I think we talked about the Kickstarter forever ago, really? but this was a game actually made for the Sega Genesis. Like it is a modern game made for the Mega Drive. Oh, this is uh, one of those uh, joints that you can legitimately get it on a cart. 
And yeah, the, the, yeah, the Kickstarter backers got the cartridge that you can plug into your Jet Genesis or Retron or whatever. Uh, but like, yeah, it's trivial to run under Linux. Uh, I, I actually, I actually checked because the the game, the download size itself is about fifty megabytes. The max size of a Genesis cartridge is four megabytes. But these days, you can just cram like a two terabyte SD card in one of those, mm-hmm. and like <laughs> the the, the G- Genesis wouldn't know the difference. But I'm pretty sure fifty, uh, uh, at least like forty five of those megabytes is just the Gen's emulator. But I could be wrong. Hmm. But uh but yeah Could um <laughs> it's 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 a it's a it's retro game in like everything but like the year it was released so i, I think it's kind of cool Th- these are fun little projects like i love seeing like homebrew software for like dreamcast and any oh, yeah because yeah. it's like it's it's a, such a cool technical challenge to like try and do these days well i, yeah. I was definitely paying attention when um well two things comes to mind I, i'm sure a lot of people watch the uh 8-bit guy Mm-hmm. when he was doing his ports to all those systems. And I noticed Ben Heck was like, um, I'm going to make a video game just using the tiny, um, what is uh, the tiny chip? It's like the, f- the small the size of rice. I mean, it can't do anything. Mm-hmm. He's having to do like manual V blanks and stuff like that. So I started watching that. That's going to be entertaining. <laughs> Looking at it though, man, um, it kind of looks like um, Alex Knight in Castlevania world. Oh, 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 uh, there's definitely the Castlevania for the Genesis inspiration is very much on display. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah de- definitely, definitely in the backgrounds. But yeah, the um, I, don't, I don't know if the character design kind of reminds me of. It seems a little anachronistic. I want to say the enemy design looks like very Genesisy, but the main dude looks weird. I don't know. I the main dude looks just that... like anime dude. Yeah, <laughs> yes, yeah, it's, it's Sephiroth. In the Genesis I get it. game. But... Sephiroth. Sephiroth. <laughs> I didn't realize how much video added to it because now I'm like, I, I want to see it moving. I want to see how the uh, animation takes <laughs> place, which is right, not right. on the page for Steam. I thought that was a thing that you needed with so the, did, uh, so the whole, did I. Mm. Yeah, you needed to have a trailer and a few screenshots, but the trailer was like mandatory. You couldn't put a page up on Steam without a trailer. Maybe, maybe hey. there's some provision for like coming soon, like if you're going to be selling stuff, because right now they're just selling uh, stuff. If it's not available, okay. Yeah. Like, maybe. maybe. Didn't support FM3. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I know it's a dumb excuse, but it's one I'd try on Steam. Space Station 14. Yeah. yeah. So uh, I, I'm almost sure that this uh, is clearly trying to capitalize on the fact that uh, Among Us has become very popular recently. And this, too, was a game that came out originally and didn't get a whole lot of attention. But it's back now. And uh, it's yeah, Space it Station go? 14. It's a uh, multiplayer, it's uh, online PvP, online co-op. Uh, it it's very much seems to follow the Among Us uh, thing. You basically have a bunch of players together in a space station, and you have so- to do things, and there's someone out there that's well, uh, either trying to kill you. It's it's more sandboxy than uh, Among yeah. Us. People so, can do whatever they want. In, <laughs> incompetence, uh, incompetency. But so here's the thing, though. I, I did a little bit of research into it. So um, this is actually um, essentially a remake or a reinterpretation of another game that came out in 2003, way before Among Us, called Space Station 13. And that has a bit of an interesting story. because That the, the was source- legitimately a joke I was going to make. So, all right, fair yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah. So um, the source code code was allegedly stolen and released but then the developers later confirmed that they released it out of the goodness of their heart uh apparently the code base was a mess and impossible to maintain and they couldn't get like people to get on board and improve the game hence this remake um and there there's actually a few others that are um that are in the way i didn't write down what the names are there's actually a wikipedia article on it it's Hmm. Interesting enough, but yeah. So this is this is this is a remake of a game that permit that predates Among Us or Among Us. But the release right now on Steam is absolutely capitalizing on the popularity of Among Us. So it's a it's a little bit of a like a Seinfeld situation. Who are what's what's ripping <laughs> off what? Right. Uh, might as well try, right? Yeah. Well, this one isn't out yet. It's still very much in the uh, coming soon phase. So yeah, <laughs> I'm down with it. The one thing I'm really down with is it's open for third party servers. Hmm. So you, you're going to have um, spaceships filled with just dicks. Just like cyberpunk. <laughs> yeah. It's going to be like 2D isometric cyberpunk. It'll be pretty hot. Uh, the, the whole third-party server thing has kept Minecraft very much alive and well for yep. years mm-hmm. now. So <laughs> One key up, oh, man. This is like uh, a bad idea wrapped around uh, Mavis Beacon. <laughs> Mavis this Beacon. Is, I look. 
I looked at this and for some reason it's like that tickled the side of my brain that goes like, oh, I want to play that. What it is, uh, or what it will be, because again, coming soon, uh, it is basically you have a visual representation of your keyboard on screen and there are certain objectives that you need to meet. Like you need to get a ball that's on the virtual uh, keyboard inside a hoop and or roll some die to roll a specific number or color all of the keyboard a certain color and you just get to push the keys to make that happen wait a minute all i'm is like gambling mechanics yeah Uh, yeah (laughs) it's gambling mechanics but uh with just random key presses on your keyboard to try and make things happen on screen it's basically the way I see it is like video games boil down to their very core and that tickles the side of my brain that goes oh you want to play that you want to play that so much right now (laughs) this would be really fun to stream just this is going to get really fucky right like this would be fun to play this is fun to play drunk (laughs) I'm just going to tell you man like straight up uh, we all know what uh, we know what happens when you rage quit with your controller I'm just saying donor keyboard on this (laughs) Just, yeah, yeah, maybe, maybe. Go, go to your tech closet. Find, find one of the unloved ones. Shake some of the funk out of it, and use that mm. one instead. So, so, oh, so those crappy those dull keyboard yeah. Yeah. that projected the keyboard onto your desk and use that. <laughs> oh, and that's how that's, that's how I broke my desk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> bad desk. Coming up next, I wonder what the S in SDL two stands for. Also, docking S- smooth. Now is usually the time that we uh, take a bit of a break to shill for ourselves. We're terrible at it. I'm well aware of it. Uh, I I mean, I I certainly take my um, share of the blame because if you just look at my Twitter account, oh, I share when the shows are done and when I'm going live. That that that's about it. So, that's you yeah. on social media. <laughs> I mean, I, 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 I try to self promotion. That that's basically all there is to mine. Jordan I try to retweet funny stuff. Retweet stuff. That's uh, yeah. If 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 it gives me a chuckle or it makes me go, huh? That's right. I'll usually give it a retweet. Uh, right, I but, try to post interesting things on Twitter. I right. I I mean, I don't, I don't got much to say anyways. I don't know. I don't do a good job <laughs> spamming our stuff. I'm like, hey, I did yeah. a thing, and I don't even pin it half the time. I'm like, oh, well, right. I released a thing for patrons <laughs> earlier this week, man. If you want to see um, a little behind the scenes, uh, how we're using DaVinci Resolve, the latest beta 17 just came out. I'm like, hey, man, let's build a uh, one of these shows, Linux Gamecast week from la- uh, last week. I'm like, yeah, that's how we do it. So- it's like 30 minutes of me trying to explain how, how it's done, man. So are you saying if you go to patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast and become a Patreon, you can get access to this video? No, Jordan, that would be shameless self-promotion and shilling. What? Wouldn't it? Well, I'm, you know, I'm going to take the hit. You can, <laughs> no. you, y'all, y'all can crucify me on the shill tree. Um, the yeah, head on. Yeah. Sh- the shill tree. <laughs> it's like the tree of woe, except it's sponsored by NVIDIA. Uh, it, it's like the tree of life, but it wants about true video. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> at, at least Pro- probably more like a thousand dollars for a video card. Anyways, yeah, uh, patreon.com slash Linux Gamecast. It's a thing. Become a patron, get access to stuff like our Discord, like the pre pre super shows, and like early releases of tutorial videos that Mr. Ben Stone makes. Um, you can even get access to the show notes. You can help us put the show together, fact check us, give your opinion. I right? <laughs> maybe one maybe the other um you can even buy your way on the show if you want to get we, we have the capacity to bring on a fourth person if you want to be that person yes. give us some money we got a store store on gamecast.com buy some t-shirts buy some stickers buy some uh i guess masks we have masks now sticky shirts i don't know one we, yeah. we, we, our shirts are the stickiest yeah they're like stickers man they <laughs> stick on things that thing sticks look at it look at it sticking supreme stickiness don't even think about it, kids. It's not covering up in uh, Linus of Shame, though, which is a little unfortunate. <laughs> uh, <laughs> no, that's proudly on display because it's in no way shameful, especially this week, NVIDIA. I thought about <laughs> making like a pixelized one, um, but then I realized I just wanted to put like a fuck right up there. <laughs> ah, nice. Uh, we, we got, we got uh, wish lists. Um, I have a wish list. Pedro has a wish list. The studio has a wish list. If you buy stuff off the studio wish list, you get your name on the seizure task board of blinky hard to read we'll just straight up shame you you'll be in like all the videos man because this wall's behind me all the time and it's blinking it's blinking deal with it it is it is um but you know if also if you buy us some stuff off our wish list you can leave us a little note we'll have to read it 
And I mean, within reason, don't make us say any crazy racist, sexist, transphobic shit, but like literally yeah. anything that won't get me in jail, I will read. That's a very broad category. I'm going to have Pedro. to start looking up legal stuff. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can we skirt by? I, I, I'm going to look yeah. at some people who violated that law, but got acquitted. <laughs> we, 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 got, we got some affiliate links. I used one this week. I made a big old Amazon order and I oh, made sure to click. I made sure to click on our Amazon link because I forgot yeah. to do it the last two times I ordered something off. That's Amazon. pretty sweet. I, I have this uh, eventually. Uh, we, we have a bunch of Amazon uh, affiliate links for, you know, um, United States, um, Britannia, um, Deutschland, of course, and um, France. Everybody, Oops. everybody, we, we've gotten like a little, you know, we can get a, little, we'll get a little cut, you know, holiday season and all that doesn't cost you anything. But we, we've gotten like a check and I got it to like 20 pounds or something like that. 20 euros, except for Canada. Man. I'm, try, I'm trying. I'm trying. <laughs> it's all you, baby. All me, baby. <laughs> <laughs> all me baby all right uh we, we got anything else we got to plug or we get uh, that's brilliant thanks everybody uh for letting us do what we do and uh stick around your name being the credits yeah. indeed um so you know for those of you who aren't burned out on first person shooters because that's all you could play on linux for a while uh there's a new version yeah. of sound out 2020 edition um and it's not the worst thing in the world um amongst the things they've added are a metric fuck ton of new maps well 200 new maps but that's still a lot of maps that's um, a lot yeah also, also now the s and sdl2 can stand for sour Broughton because now they're using sdl2 which is nice because it's not a terrible library like sdl1 is <laughs> sdl1 was great for the time but we have better stuff now and sour Broughton we have more monitors before. that's the big one <laughs> yes we don't we don't have a single crt anymore we have room for more than one monitor well, I, just, I was kind of looking through it, man. I was seeing if they had some video of anything on here, but they don't. Uh, yeah. Is this the only game currently in active development that's still using the Cube Engine? Cube 2? I don't think so, but it's probably the big one, the biggest one. The one that we would yeah, recognize. Yeah, it's the one that everyone yeah. knows, and it's the one that I think everyone on Linux has tried at some point, went into a server that had a bunch of people playing, and realized, oh! Yeah, this is what these people Just play, and I'm nowhere near their level, so I'm out. <laughs> yep, yep. System mastery is a thing. Uh, Def yeah, yeah. definitely. Yeah, uh, uh, I, I'd like to. Well, I don't know, man. I like open source game engines, and there's nothing wrong with a four dimensional time cube and engine. I, I'm happy to see that they messed around with the health boost mechanic. I, I think like a lot of you at home. I know I've played this at some point, but I just like. The, but again, this comes from the age of the billions of first-person shooters. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Played it, yeah. got wrecked. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. Apparently, 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 you go into a server, you immediately get sniped, but just, then you look around, it's like, where the hell did that come from? <laughs> so so apparently, in, in, in the patch notes, they're saying there is a more intelligent spawn system, so maybe you won't get spawn killed because it drops you in a place where there isn't a direct line of fire to your face. Okay. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> well, that's the thing. Go check it out. Happy to see updates. But um, our resident RGB whore, Pedro Mateus, is. Uh, man, uh, you get, you I have no oh, idea what you're on about. Open RGB. The B in this case stands for beige. No, it doesn't shut the hell up. Who's got a blinky <laughs> keyboard? It's not blinky, it's just white and red. That's that 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 that's it. I can't Whose move it too much makes otherwise. More than one like color. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it is technically more than one color, but uh, RGB implies at least three colors: red, green, and blue. Uh, which of those three, I only have one. So yeah, checkmate, atheists. Uh, <laughs> which which one is it? Is it beige? Right. <laughs> yes. Uh, but yeah, no. This is open RGB, and it is an effort that's been going on for a while now, and I really do hope they keep at it. Uh, for to try and unify all of the RGB stuff that you get, be it keyboards, mice, RAM, uh, video cards, PlayStation power controllers. supplies. PlayStation controllers, literally anything that has uh, RGB, full-on addressable RGB capabilities, the goal here is very much to try and get them all under oh, no, one the software MSI umbrella. Light controller can still get bricked. 
Yes. <laughs> uh, there are a few known issues, obviously, and uh, yeah, because they're, they're just working out of what they have access to and what they can reverse engineer. So yeah, it is amazing that they've gotten as far as they did because they've gotten a lot of stuff actually working and this is available for both uh, Linux and Windows and I hope I really do hope they keep at it because it's the only option that we on Linux have. Say you have a blinky keyboard or you have a really nice case uh, with some fancy RGB RAM uh, on your motherboard and a lot of stuff and you went through the trouble of setting all that up and making it look really nice. And the moment you load Linux, you're just on the default rainbow barf and that's all you get. Well. Hopefully, this is very much the thing that will get you going without One. having to use 30 different pieces of software like you do on Windows and maybe even well, getting some malware in between. <laughs> it's funny that you bring this up because actually, if you're looking through the patch notes, they do have a bunch of Windows specific fixes here because I think that mm -hmm. is that is that is very much a problem on Windows. This is a cross platform solution for your various RGB needs. Like so if you splurge. Like, like safe to say, like if you have something that blinks, this can probably control it, or will eventually control it. Will eventually, I don't know, man. Um, I, I'm just not curious enough. I know this Threadripper motherboard's RGBs has got RGBs on it because that's <laughs> how they were trying to sell the first gen Threadrippers. They're like, look, it blinks and shit. Um. I, I looked under my desk recently and I found out that my motherboard is blinking and I had no idea it was doing it for like two months. What was it, just for funsies or <laughs> no, I was just like something fell under my desk and I went looking for no, it. And no, I, I mean, was it blinking because it needed to be petted or what? No, it just has, like, <laughs> it just has RGB shit. That's all. The only other thing the I have is um, I'd be curious is like this Corsair um, water block mm. has got it's just like white light. To my first, I was looking at that. It lights this place up. Um, it's like that. That adds heat. Can I cut that off? So maybe I'll uh, explore that option. That maybe. is one of the options if your thing is supported. <laughs> if I come back next week and be like, "Welp, uh, the two twelves back on it." <laughs> <laughs> I know the uh, and uh, NZXT uh, like water blocks. Uh, they have some basic implementation for those. It's the new ones that have like the temperature readouts and everything on the block. That doesn't work yet. I would pry you that out on control I'd that. Tape over that. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it gives you like the the temperature of the water in the loop, and it gives you the temperature of the processor. All while so generating you just heat. Look at it. I mean, they're 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 LEDs. They don't the the, the touch heat the back of a LED bulb, sweetheart. <laughs> if you have is. enough leds put together yes yeah. there, there, there yeah, will well, be heat i, I mean <laughs> I, I i have to imagine it's inconsequential to the heat the cpu is putting out but you know i i mm, do, yes but it's doing <laughs> thermodynamics <laughs> yes but, the amount of yeah. watts of a even a 65 watt tdp cpu is more than the leds yeah <laughs> <laughs> Good news, kids. Um, OBS, uh, we're, we're slowly chugging our way back up to um, feature parity with the Windows version. Woo! This also goes out to my brothers and sisters on Mac, too, because that, mm, we're still working on that. But um, something that was recently added as browser panels for OBS, and I don't know if this one's going to make it into the next point release, but it is something that you can grab a hold to. Wait, was this committed? Uh, not yet. Um, uh, not, not merge. But if you're like me and you've never played around with the Windows or Mac versions of this, this will give you a dockable browser panel so you can have things up like Twitch chat and other things that you're like, why does that exist? Oh, now all of a sudden it makes sense. Right, Jordan? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. I, I mean, like, th this this is definitely something I kind of wanted because I'm dicking around, like, setting up layouts for RPG streams and that would be super fucking handy to manipulate things as opposed to having to pop out that other stupid non-dockable window that gets lost underneath all the other shit I have open. Right. So I'm, mm -hmm. I'm very, very happy that this is making it in. I really hope it gets merged in real soon. Are you afraid of it, Pedro? No, Careful. quite the opposite. Uh, much like Jordan, it's like, oh, you can actually see, uh, get a bit of a preview of the thing you're trying to add. Yeah, that, 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 that would have been nice to have there first thing, but 
whatevs. <laughs> it's going to be a thing. Um, they get it You're sorted. just ungrateful, Pedro. I know they did run into um, <laughs> like some stability issues. I've been following it on just the commit, um, the, just tracking it with a GitHub man. I'm like, ah, all right, it's going to get in there. And that's good to see. But a bug I've been tracking on that has been a very serious issue with OBS is uh, its ability to ingest Jack audio sexy no no right jack was off effectively and if you've asked me which a lot of you have i'm um, like why isn't this working and i've gotten mentions on twitter and stuff like that like, what do i do is you know you just had to use pulse audio module jack because if you use jack with obs it would the mixer would still work you, you would see volume audio bouncing around in your when you go to check your recording nothing's there and just just to keep things interesting these past few years it failed without notifying the user. Mm, that's the best part. So it was like, surprise, all of your audio's gone, non-recoverable, never happened. And um, myself Jonathan and Frakes. several people have been, you know, we've been doing a bug report. I'm like, hey, this is a bug. Ah, it's not reproducible. I'm like, it's a bug, man. I'm like, no, something's wrong with your jack system. I'm like, mm, that you don't understand how jack works because it wouldn't make it to OBS. But no, closed won't fix. Well. They finally fucked with the wrong person, and I'm very happy. Um, <laughs> Mark Ann was like, yo, he, he had a nice little um, rant. He was like, I'm very disappointed with the OBS team. I, I, I will skip over all that. But basically, basically, it was just knackered from the ground up. Jack should work now. Once this gets committed, I still got to play around with it myself. But he got into that rat's nest, and he found him bunch of issues with pulse audio on timing issues timestamp issues when like it it theoretically should just work now and i hang on i want to go to uh nope 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 that's a different one ah oh, where's this little rant oh well check out the show notes later for that but yeah i just wanted to say hey man thanks for doing that man and he did a much better job of adulting than i ever could have with the um, one guy who was keeping this closed for the at least the past eight months on this last, because um, he was like, I can't reproduce it. Then I can. I said, he didn't have a system configured for real time audio. Didn't have a didn't have the hardware to even test. Mm. So yeah, that that's sorted. I'm interested in this because um, I I have a sneaking suspicion one of the issues with the Black Magic card was the way it was interacting with. Um, pulse that could have been causing some issues just because i was seeing a bunch of uh it basically turns into an x run generator mm. when you mm. enable it in uhd and i'm like there's something there but it's always been past my pay grade and so i'm glad this is there so uh yeah stay tuned and because i'm definitely going to be doing some more stuff with obs and setting up digital mixing and how to stream like this without having to buy anything no extra sound cards, nothing. Just boop, 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 and you do it all virtually, like we do here. There. That's all I had to say about that. Let's talk about some Dix Fix. Yeah, speaking of, speaking of patches, we got some new patches for Dix Fix uh, from Sporf. Uh, it's DXVK Async. So this uh, this patch is originally a fork of uh, something that was there to better support async requests in Path of Exile. Um, it also so th this is an improvement of this because DXVK has progressed since that patch was originally generated. It uses the state pipeline now, which wasn't present originally. Um, supposedly, it can drastically reduce or almost d remove stutter in the games that use this async feature. Um, so that's nice. You still need to if you want to if you want to use this this right away you just gotta actually build your own dxvk which i mean there's <laughs> compile instructions you just gotta learn how to run the patch commands dude i there was something like um proton a couple of weeks back I'm like i'm gonna compile put vm nope no yeah <laughs> to, to compile it, i mean i i understand 100 percent why they're doing it in a vm to like make those dll's like the, completely the, the, got it that's as far yeah. as i got though man I was like, yeah yep, yeah yep. so, so I'm, I'm gonna wait until someone puts out a build of this before i took around with it but you know if you're brave if you like compiling stuff you know how to run a patch command what this was is the issue with this was it like triggering um like 
Yeah, a lot of people well a lot of people uh, there were like three people that complained that they got banned after they used the async patch in a few games one so, of which was overwatch but we all know that blizzard's a bit uh sus when it comes to banning players on linux you're you trying to be all hip on the kids <laughs> sus <laughs> it's very yeah, sus the, the yeah no the async patch was removed after a few people reported look i just tried to use this in a game and i got banned because cheating yes there is very much uh the possibility that you will be banned if you're fucking with the graphics rendering pipeline it's kind of inevitable because if that's not kosher and the game engine goes oh you're doing something that we're not entirely sure what you're doing so we're going to report that to uh management and then management looks at it and goes no bye saying i, goes I like this bullshit I've... world that where that isn't just a fucking <laughs> poorly done bot <laughs> yeah it, it's just a bot like blizzard's warden so but yeah so, I, the, so I, I be wonder, careful though, if you try this <laughs> I, I wonder though if like the syscall dispatcher that they're working on for wine is going to help address this um but you know who knows um yeah well that's like one of the things um that uh, to go back to the steam segment with the proton the proton experimental they're doing uh the start uh the beginning of the work of reducing um rendering overhead and Right. With a Vulcan. I'm like, mm, okay, they're, they're starting to like dig in. Yep. Yeah, it, yeah. It, it, it's, it's fascinating because now, because now like essentially, essentially Valve is co-opting wine as their compatibility layer. And again, com with them controlling all the driver space, it allows us the, it allow, and the, the API space in this case, it allows them to fix these issues a lot faster and without the developer's input. Or mm -hmm. they can at least give specific input to the developers, say like, yo, this does not work. We have tried all these things. Fix your shit. It's like, okay, you got to fix this now. <laughs> I, I was having to think about this um, because I was having a conversation. It was like, oh, we run Linux. Okay, that's fine. It's like, so what's the gaming situation like? And this is your typical, um, I run Windows, uh, I play the games. I are very smart. Not not being snide about it, but it was that level of like, yeah, oh, you got it, Ben. I mean, I, I run Windows. I really well you know and all that and it's like what about linux and i'm like you can't take any of that with you and you, you're you're running the operating system equivalent uh, to like safety scissors so <laughs> that doesn't transfer to linux i just tried to explain to him like you're gonna be fucking lost walking in and one thing that it's not gonna help you out is because i see this with audio constantly i had uh Shout back, not shout. And I politely shouted back to somebody a couple of days ago on Twitter who was like, I don't know how to do anything with audio under Linux and all my shit broke. Linux sucks. It's all Linux's fault. I'm like, no, it's not. But to my <laughs> point is, do you think we'll ever get all these sharp edges filed off enough of like the wine steam I, thing where I'm like, oh, I can install the steam. So now I can click play and it worked. Multiplayer games will be the big ones, like anti-cheat. Once that is at a point that people can just click, install, and play in the bulk of games, I yeah. don't know. <laughs> so, I, I mean, it it helps more with like the back catalog, but you're still chasing a moving target, right? Like for new releases, if mm -hmm. developers aren't providing pre-release builds so that people can at least try to get things working under Wine, like we're it will will forever be on that back foot. Well, we are definitely uh, living in the age where the the, the drop-down menu for Proton versions isn't getting shorter. No, it's not. And <laughs> even, especially when you're adding your own GEs and your Proton mm -hmm. DXVKs and your all this stuff. I I, th I think that that fragmentation is going to be the death knell. There needs to be like a could and, and Valve is trying their best and Coedivers are trying their best, but that's sort of the nature of open source project. People fork things and they do their own work to get the things that they care about working. Mm. But, but that, if we get that, the average user, uh, they're not going to go there. They won't even know who Glorious Agrol is, and they won't know that there's. Right, right, version right. Out there. right. But, but what, what I'm what I'm saying is this fragmentation is harmful for that. And ulti ultimately, there needs to be a more concerted effort to, like, maybe have some development streams so that instead of checking 15 different places, maybe you can check three. And that would be a better option. Proton DB. We have <laughs> well, I mean, Proton DB, that's great and all. Oh, well, you got to download this custom version of wine, blah, blah, blah. Right. Like. But yeah, that's it, the one place you check in case you want to get the one game running I, that you I, can't. I, I'm, I'm talking about 
inside steam having like here's the here's the fancy branch here's the bare bones branch and here's some other thing right like make make it make it a little simpler for end users without having to make them go to another website that's that's kind of that's the thing they need to nail i think that's going to be difficult because that's not even a thing for windows games because a lot of yeah. like windows hacks and stuff <laughs> PC like that gaming yeah. wiki. Well, exactly <laughs> it's like i am looking at like how do i get this into like 1080p windowed mode and i'm like i'm reading how to do it in windows because i'm running it through proton i'm like oh there's the hack okay geez where's this thing like yeah no yeah idea. yeah what's what's the steam id of this game so i can find the ini <laughs> right. file right i have like, no yeah. idea where stuff is located <laughs> under like i'm lost every time it's like user data maybe in my day it was under program files damn it um um, yeah yeah that's the thing but hey man let's quit talking about proton let's just talk about wine yeah wine. let's just talk about the thing that started it all that the was thing that everyone in. was using <laughs> all 10 minutes yeah yeah so Preamble. uh padding the new uh wine 6.0 is coming they're up to release candidate 2 and it's now available the only the only change log that you see here is the difference between rc1 and rc2 they're basically just at a code freeze right now this is what it's going to be go out test it if it works uh i i, I want to see it uh, be actually released because i want to see the full change log from 5.0 to 6.0 ever ever since valve and code weaver started working in proton the wide change logs have become so much more interesting and the one that actually jumped out to me was the very first one sacred gold edition cinematics do not play it's been fixed oh no that bug that's been open since 2008 that's 12 years it's been fixed finally <laughs> i don't know 40 bug fixes most of them are for games and yes i do consider quick in 2004 a game get over it um, I, I was i was gonna say like who the fuck is like complaining that quick in 2004 is busted on life? <laughs> <laughs> probably probably the same person that's still waiting for a sequel to efax messenger 4.4 um by po quite possibly or yeah. what was what was what was what was the other one um it, it, e exact audio copy you always have to think about that because somebody reported that somebody is trying to run that under wine for a reason too i doubt anybody's I, I, like hey I, let's I, just go I, by back catalog and see what doesn't work no it, no it, it might be it might just be for like feature completeness too right like Good hey man. here's yeah, like yeah, we, we just match. need to ensure oh, that middle. That's yeah. that, ooh, there's hell. That's your job. Yeah, yeah just making oh. sure that shit's feature complete. <laughs> oh, yeah. oh, oh no, and you don't download it. Ooh, you got a CD ROM drive and some floppies. Uh, oh, dude, yeah, you got you got to source old ass CD ROM drives. You're trolling eBay. You're, you're checking like old schools. That's that that's a special hell. <laughs> Oh. oh yeah oh <laughs> no. oh baby yes um what uh, they also fixed the cinematics in uh grandia 2 which is a game i really liked i bought it on the switch i originally bought it on the playstation 2 the switch version is super fucking buggy maybe the windows version is less so it won't <laughs> it won't crash immediately after boss fights and then i'd go okay well i'm done playing this game but yeah that's the the that seems to be the big theme with the new wine is fixing a bunch of cinematics and cutscenes and stuff that didn't used to play thank you for finally introducing the windows media stuff compatibility that that that's been due for a while <laughs> that's awesome well that's th good news th thank you pager.wmv coming up next <laughs> um we're, we're, we're gonna rpm He's, he's Pedro. Dot, um, re, what's the real player R format? I it was. Yeah, R it, R oh, 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 Life man. was hell in the late 90s for Red Hat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Spe speaking of hell, we're throwing chairs at Super Hot, which is kind of like hell in a way. There's a lot of red. Welcome back to the Cheerquisition. This week, we are taking a look at Super Hot, developed by surprise the super hot team done on unity you can pick it up for about 25 bucks what is it super hot is the first person shooter where time moves only when you move no regenerating health bars no conveniently placed ammo drops just you outnumbered and outgunned grabbing weapons off fallen enemies to shoot slice and maneuver through a hurricane of slow motion bullets um no mandatory disclosure but like this thing is in a bundle every other week right um you're very rarely gonna pay full price for it um yeah so yeah, we we I, I bought my copy off a of fanatical. I think other people got off humble. Doesn't matter. Uh, we're getting into the review. So then, how, how's it go? You want to fight about it, man? Yes, uh, I do. All right, sweet. Let's get into it, man. On the 1920X Threadripper, 32 gigs of RAM with the NVMe drives and the 2060. Yeah, this graphical juggernaut. Yeah, it ran. 
You read fine. Everything worked out of the box. It even picked up the game pads, and that's not a given from a title from 2016. And uh, it was missing windowed mode. I had to throw the old Unity flag in there, and it was an old enough version of Unity where that just popped up. I'm like, hey, neat. I will take advantage of that. But um, yeah, I would say clean bill of health. It didn't have any issues running it, and the 2060 was capable of powering this graphical juggernaut. Let's talk about the fun, though, because for me, I, I was always curious about this game. I think I can speak for all three of us. I, I was always curious, but I wasn't like $25 curious about it. Like, oh, I'll get around. It'll be in a bundle. Lo and behold, here we are. Um, this, at its core, is effectively bullet chess or bat chess and yeah, sometimes punch chess man time moves faster when you move but don't think it stops simply because you did nah too much thinking nah, that'll get you killed right proper man or oh, right in the pooper you never know man those bullets come out of nowhere and I'm about 90 minutes into the game I, I managed to complete the first few levels um you know that ranged from like challenging to like, fuck it, I'm going to go full Pedro Mateus and just cheese my way through this one. If you were watching my stream last night, that last one, I'm like, I'm just going to wiggle until they come get me and then I'm going to fuck them up. You know, um, it's fun. It, it, it just punching and grabbing the gun, then shooting the guy, then throwing the gun again. That didn't get old in the hour or so I got into it. But here's the thing, man. Uh, it forced me, it's what I like in a game, it forced me to be 100,000% aware of my surroundings in a three-dimensional space, you know, bullets, cars, fists, you name it, this level, this is the one I cheese. It was in the bar, and I, I finally, I just, I just took them all to the washer and capped them, but is it still worth twenty four ninety nine in 2020? As Jordan pointed out, eh, not when it's always in a bundle or it's on sale, man. Uh, that's why I picked it up in the Homebly Bundle from earlier last month. But I personally wouldn't feel bad dropping like 15 bucks on it. I think I, I could live with that because uh, I'm going to come back and beat this because it is a puzzle game. And uh, apparently I, I like the uh, thinky-shooty stuff more than I thought I would. I'm going to give it a solid three cheers. That means it's safe to check out and um, just wait for it to halfway decent sell. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so on Fedora 33 64-bit with the i7-6700K and the RX uh, 5700 XT and also on the Ryzen R9 3900X with the GTX 1080 Ti. I'm never going to get used to saying that. Um, yeah, launches out of the box on both. Hold 60 on both. Uh, one thing I will say, no cloud save? Really? Go fuck yourselves. Make me solve fiddly shit over again? Eat shit. Um, the visual style, very excellent. Minimalism, very, 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 very good looking. It's striking. Uh, everything is clear, which you need, and you need all that information. You can't really deal with a lot of like non fucky things because you don't have the, you don't have the window to react. Um, there's not really much of a soundtrack, but I mean, that's kind of part of the aesthetic here. And, uh, the controls are pretty standard was, um, so onto the subjective stuff. Uh, like Ven said, this is a puzzle game in the disguise of an action game. It's about managing your ticks of a clock. Um, most of the most of my time spent in this game wasn't actually on my account. It was on my friend's account because he has the VR version. And in VR, it's super fun because everything feels just so visceral. Your head moving, your arms moving, all tick the clock forward, and it puts you right in the middle. And I feel playing just playing it just on a pc really loses a bit of that it feels a bit of a like a diminished experience that, that sounds fun but it also sounds like that that's like taping down the fuck button it <laughs> is because like you know you're, you're you're running around you're crawling you're smashing into your friend's furniture it's it's fun time um i don't i don't know well honestly um I, I i really i really enjoy the game uh my chief complaint though is that like yeah the solutions get really brute forcey because you kind of need to like you need to map out the level first often enough to like know where things are going to spawn so that you can be in the right position and I, I, I don't know that's that that is kind of how first person shooters play but i feel this should maybe be a little bit more different and maybe help like encourage you to like try and enter that sort of flow state uh but you know whatever um once you hit the sweet spot you can watch yourself in a cool matrix kung fu fight and you can even record and edit them to make yourself try to look less like a spazzing idiot um though so i will say if you do get the chance play this in vr uh the experience is so much better um i'm i'm giving this a two chair just because like i can't go back 
<laughs> yeah, I can uh, I can definitely see that because it, it it does lend itself very much to the VR thing. But over here on the uh, Ryzen 7 3700X with the GTX 1080, it launched out of the box. It doesn't really seem to like uh, the 144 hertz. That's why you're seeing the uh, 60 FPS on the uh, if you're watching the video version. Um, yeah, it you have to disable the frame limiter and you have to keep V-Sync on, but there's still a lot of uh, dips uh, in the in the FERPs. I don't know why there isn't all that much on screen at any point, so I don't know what's happening here. Maybe they're doing the whole thing in, um, I don't know. <laughs> I genuinely don't know how they managed to squeeze out enough uh, a demanding uh, graphical things out of this that it would cause the um, frame rates to drop. You didn't have but enough tensor wiggles. Clearly not. You uh, need a 3080 the, or a 3090 at least. <laughs> no, no, no. I really don't want to buy a graphics card right now. Not at those prices. But yeah, Do rebindable not. controls and adjustable mouse sensitivity were very welcome. They absolutely were, because by default, uh, at least for me, the mouse sensitivity was just stupid. Um, but when it comes to the fun, I am 100% on board with the gameplay. I get it. I like roguelikes. I'm very much that uh, kind of person that does like turn-based games, and time moves when you move. Okay. I'm on board with that. And I remember playing, I think it was the demo or something that they had for Kickstarter or whatever they were doing at the time. And I was a big fan of that, and I very much liked what the mechanics want you to do and what you effectively do in-game. I like that. The story, on the other hand, feels very much teched on at best and completely dissonant at worst. And yeah, in the whole discussion between mechanics and narrative in video games, I think I've mentioned this more than enough, uh, I'm very much in the mechanics uh, camp the whole time. Um, it's... Uh, if I'm playing a video game, then I want the interactive side of it. I want to experience what the developers created in this video game. If I wanted a good story, I'd be reading a book. And I'm playing a video game, so yeah. If you don't tie your story into the mechanics and do it properly, and I, I'm once again forced to go back to Half-Life 2 as an example because that was I a video I game. Maintain. That's a That's a terrible comparison. It is a terrible comparison because it's not the same genre of video game. Absolutely, I agree with you. But it is an example of a video game that integrates that uh, interactivity with the narrative that you're supposed to be um, enjoying. And yeah, Half-Life 2 does it really, really well. It's all about the mechanics all the time. And you just get to enjoy the story as you're playing the game. It doesn't stop you from playing the game to enjoy the story like Superhot does. I find myself repeatedly smacking the keyboard to get past the BS story in Superhot just to try and get back to the awesome video game that's there that I want to play. You don't take what's fun away from people to shove some pretentious BS story down their throat. Could have absolutely done without that. So it gets two chairs. So um but if we're gonna do like the Half-Life 2 thing, because Half-Life 2 did it in reverse, man. Uh, they shoved the physics bullshit puzzles that got in the way of the damn game. <laughs> there were a couple of puzzles there that were very clearly Valve you going, know, look at what we did. Yeah, I'm, I'm having fun playing Half-Life 2 with stories going on. It's like solve this bullshit. I'm like, another one? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, yeah, like, 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 like I said, that my, my, my chief complaint is I played the better version of this game, which is the yeah. better version, and it's, 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 it's a good experience, and this do, is do just less Do you think this could that. possibly work on mobile? Like, with like, well, like, put a cell phone in front of your face? No, mm -hmm. no, I'm talking about just, like, holding on. Like, AR? Yeah. Like, augmented reality type of situation? Okay. I could, I could Maybe? see this being a fun <laughs> AR game, but again, you're gonna look like a spazoid, like, walking down the street going like, wah, wah, wah. That's why you do it in the privacy of your neighbor's <laughs> living room, so you can break their shit. That's true. Yeah. <laughs> All right. All right. So I, I guess that's it. Coming up next, we got a we got a sizable hit mill segment. We're gonna talk about traffic filtering and why it's good for you. 
and it's the end it's uh it's unfortunate i know i was enjoying it very much as i'm sure all of you too were enjoyed uh, it <laughs> listen man i get through this show and i'm like i powered my way through another one I, <laughs> it's, it's it's like sex i close my eyes and wait till it's over Oh, you poor child. Uh, in any case, if you'd like to let us know about your sexual experiences, please don't. But if you really must, you can go to LinuxGameCast.com and hit the contact button. Make sure LGC Weekly uh, is the show that you're sending your hate mail to. Otherwise, well, we may cover it on um, the Wednesday show as though it were feedback, which will make things very awkward for well, I mean, everyone we got a involved. Relationship thing right here, man. Oh, yeah. You could absolutely ask Jordan about uh, relationship advice. And um, yeah. you may get stuff like, what? What he just said so <laughs> that's up to you <laughs> very very sad implied tales yes listen man there's nothing learn wrong. from my failure if, if you don't want to close your eyes you can get a blindfold i mean i don't want to close yeah, my eyes i don't want to fall asleep yeah i just want steven tyler to shoot you, cocaine yeah, in my so eyeballs. do you want, you want um, like <laughs> yeah. retro pie on a crt this comes from cody cody's like yo man I've been trying to get the Raspberry Pi 4 8 gig to be a functional retro gaming device on my CRT. Oh, true hipster fashion. Oof, yeah. So far it works, but as you might have guessed, there's a however. I'm getting much screen tearing on a CRTV. My God, it looks so bad it hurts my eyes. Not even joking. I've tried alternatives like... Um, Atmosera? Yeah, and... Rectal, rectal box. Rectal, 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 rectal box. box. Ba- Banks suggest rectal box, please. <laughs> Any advice on if this can be fixed? Question mark or just burn the pie for with a fire? There are many I'm, ways you can fix it. Rectal box. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. So I ran Linux on a CRT very, 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 very briefly before I got a better monitor. Um. That was just when I was starting off in like 2007, 2008 or whatever. Um, I don't know. So I, I don't have anything to add to this. Where did, where did you find a CRT? I, I had it. It was, it was like my, it was like my old CRT. Came from with an old computer. Okay. Hmm. But yeah, no, as uh, someone who's actually been um, playing on a Raspberry Pi very recently lately, uh, the big one, if you're just running Raspberry Pi OS, uh, it comes with all of the anti-tearing stuff enabled uh if you're installing say anything else like um custom version of raspbian or any other operating system you need to have the latest uh, mesa you need to enable uh gpu acceleration obviously uh if you're just running any kind of default um desktop environment you need a compositor like compton that actually does a very good job of uh, getting rid of tearing. The Raspberry Pi four of tutorials only has out there. HDMI out, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. I think I think I think they dropped the composite video a while ago. Uh, yeah, the, you don't get the RCA jack anymore. Yeah. But yeah, it's just HDMI. But you do need the glx acceleration enabled and something like compton or pycom uh look up there's a few guides out there that uh, will give you the all the settings that you need to get rid of the tearing and, i don't I, yeah. I, I don't know this, this might this might be a dumb question but again out of out of my realm of expertise okay. is there something to do with like hdmi to cr to like vga crt whatever that, that my first thing it? is what are you using to adapt that yeah, because like that that yes. could be a cause. It could be the monitor itself as well. My, right? Like Well, if it's a CRT, I'm guessing yeah. Oh, if it's a computer monitor, that's another thing. Was that specified? Was it a um uh, no, it just says CRT. Yeah, it's it's just CRT, 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 yeah. CRT TV, they say. Oh what? Really? Yeah, t- tell no, me. No, it just says CRT. <laughs> yeah, it just says where, where you coming See, up oh, TV? Line four. Okay. Uh, screen on a CRT. Okay, if it is a TV, huh? I'm. I would probably well, first thing I would throw under the bus would be whatever you're using to convert that from HDMI. I don't know. Yeah, I, yeah. I mean, I mean that, that that's really oh, my first thought. Hang on, Thor's <laughs> got a composite video in the audio jack. Composite oh. video hasn't been on. So, rah, rah. There. All right, yeah, well, Al- Alan just scolded us, Mr. <laughs> well, I, I don't own one of them because, God damn it, they sold out well, real okay, quick. So, so we have two uh, conflicting uh, <laughs> solutions. One, if that is what you're currently using, 
try it the other way with something to convert it. If you're currently converting it, try it that way. And if neither yeah. of them work, uh, just get regular TV. Sacri- sacrifice the chicken. Like <laughs> re- read the entrails. <laughs> like do, do what system administrators, our people, have been doing for thousands of years to fix computer problems. I okay. Serious, serious damn question. Yeah. Is there a CRT TV with an HDMI in? Did I'm those sure, two ever cross at any point? I'm sure there's some custom probably. job, but like, the, yeah. yeah, I'm talking about like manufacturing. <laughs> I'm not talking about like a projector. You could probably find a projector, but that doesn't or, count. Or, or maybe, uh, or maybe like some specialized markets, like I don't know, Africa, hipster where, radio. I don't know. I, yeah. I have a projector I, with HDMI in. Yeah, so, yeah. I, 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 Africa, South America, India. Place, yeah, like places where there's not necessarily a lot of money to spend on like new shit, right? I don't know. Um, send us some mail. Let us know. Yeah, that would be. Yeah, I'm, I'm yeah. genuinely curious if that thing <laughs> exists. Right. And uh, uh, I'm sure uh, like LG or Abidas do it. And like, mm, yeah. oh, <laughs> mm. oh, I just want to touch it. Yeah. Mm. All right. Uh, <laughs> last but not least, who wants to tell us? I'll do, I'll do this. So this is from Magic Guitar Man, and they say, after installing Pi-hole, I've come to the startling realization that about four, well, or a quarter of the DNS requests made from my network were used to serve me ads or track me. Who knows how much I had to leave on so my needed websites wouldn't break. Uh, 145. Or, there was uh, a timestamp, which yeah. is actually, I'd make an, a bit of an amendment to that. It's actually 147. Oh. Uh, ooh. <laughs> Time stamp schooling. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, so like people, so that's, that's the crazy thing. Like if you're using your ISP provided DNS, you're getting hijacked, you're getting shit inserted into your traffic. Oh yeah. Uh, mm-hmm. Yeah. Like there, there's all sorts of random ass shit. And like, well, that's yeah, like, like one of the things, one of the reasons I was insistent with um, charter to get my own like modem, because every time I logged into the charter thing, it would have a third DNS that would just pop up. I'm like, Mm-hmm. Fuck that. Mm-hmm. No, sir. No, thank you. Yeah, uh, uh, I've gotten to the point now that I have set my um, home uh, router from um, Virgin as just a modem, and the DHCP server is actually the NAS that has Pi-hole installed, and so Pi-hole just goes, oh, everything that I've assigned an address to uh, just gets this DNS server, which is a pie hole DNS, and hold, it filters hold, out hold all on, the hold ads. On, hold on, I, I, I have a question for you. Is your NAS a Raspberry Pi? No. Then can it really it's, be called pie hole? It's not a pie <laughs> <laughs> It, the, the software itself is called Pie Hole, yes. Uh, so, it's yeah, it, it, effectively, it is a Pie Hole, but it's not a, not a Raspberry Pi specifically. Pedro, Pedro, <laughs> did, did your NAS have a dick in it? It's my dick in a NAS. It may have at one point, but I will plead the fifth on that one. Okay. <laughs> We we're not gonna top that. Fuck off. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know, screw it, screw it, yeah, yeah. screw it. Good night. <laughs> On that pie shell, baby. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm gonna get the fuck up out of here. But if you want to scream at me, you know where I'm at. You know where I'm at. I'm on Twitter at um uh, Vinstone. Just put that at simple thing in front of it, that ampersand. If you want to get a hold of me, we have a Mastodon instance with a couple of people on there at mass.linuxemcast.com. I'm just at Vin, OG, and um, you can scream at me, send us some feedback, all the fun stuff, usual places, you know where we hang out, the other six days of the week, uh, Discord, IRC, all that. I'm Jordan Swung, I am not a pie, yet. Uh, you can watch my transformation at twitter.com slash the burger at the burning pool. A butterfly. Tr- f- I, it's, it's a butter pie. Butter pie. Butter pie. Uh, yeah, uh, oh. at the Burning Fool, um, Twitter, twitch.tv slash the Burning Fool, or Burning Fool. Yeah. One of those was correct, the other one was not. Uh, the- find out which! I <laughs> am Pedro Mateos. You can find me getting all the pies. Well, not really. I have the two. That, that, that's it. Uh, at an accounted for on Twitter. Come shout at me. Come scream at me. Come argue with me. I very much enjoy that. So, yeah, at an accounted for. Uh, F-O-U-R. That's... that's- <laughs> Damn adorable. Here's some credits. <laughs> credits! <laughs> well, 
We gotta thank all the people. Maybe is. maybe I should have the list separately up, but I just read the return video because I'm a dummy like that. That's the easiest way to do it, baby. It absolutely <laughs> is. We gotta thank our We're executive scrolling. producers. Haplo, Justin, Mike, J, Angel, M, Barbrett, Scottum, Ms. Fox Dog, Arthurin, the Atomic Ass, and Meg G. We gotta thank our little Nikki fans, uh, Darkwing, Darkwing and, and Hefty. Yep. And the Sea Monsters, Jack, Jack B, B Dementor, Dementor, Renault, LePage, Ryder X, Machinoch, Paul, and Veritanuda. Yes, sir. And all Go the Death it. Notes, Nova K, Basil B, Chad P, Romeo V, uh, Marson K, Dad Martin W, w System T, Craig H, Steven Renate Joe. K, Leonardo C, Captain Zero, DeCresney, yeah. Kim, Smashly G, Chris, Stephen Jill. And a whole, With Alan, all of the children. Let us sell Valen D. Colon. Your turn. Hey, man. Joanna. Oh, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful psychopath. Simcha B. Simcha, Pedro. Ha. Doja. Scott. Ha. Simcha. <laughs> Nathan W. Egal D. We, 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 we gotta thank our shameless plugs. PowerShell on Linux and library.tv slash at Nixon's Pyramid. That's right. You should totally you? set up a PowerShell on Linux uh, script to run, <laughs> or just I, show um, for for whatever Nixon's reason. Experiment. Now I'm thinking of I'm thinking of like the giant head from Zardoz, but it's Richard Nixon. No, I just want you to put some googly eyes on the top of your head. Five dudes. <laughs>